feeling better. Yeah, time. now it's time to vibe. Now it's time to enjoy the players who are actually good at this video game. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Fawn versus Mega over here. Ooh, interesting selection there by Mega with Ike. Yeah, I mean, Mega has been the diehard Ike player uh, since before even uh, since before this game even came out. He's been Ike since Brawl, uh, Ike, or Ike since uh, Smash 4 and beyond, and just really has an understanding for how this character moves, and is definitely gracious for the amount of buffs that Ike has gotten. But Vaughn is one of those players that she will match up check you, she will like over, she will out neutral you. She has just such a wide array of skills, and Duck Hunt can almost kind of favor that in a lot of ways, especially given how awkward the character is. Her player her and game knowledge really shines because of it, and it's really shining because of the speed. Absolutely. Also, there is a bit of a hatred towards this character. I've seen them be like, oh, Ike sucks, drop them. And so we're going to see uh, if uh, Mega can prove her wrong. Yeah, I mean, it's... It's both worth it and not worth it, because what you're doing as Mega is basically like, hey, you may have all of these tricks and tr tricks and traps, dinks and dunks, and all of these um, literal gunmen you can pull out of your pocket, but Ike has a base set of tools that works regardless of matchup. Like, there's always going to be something your player, your opponent has to deal with, as is Ike's weight, apparently, because while Fawn is sitting at a pretty 36, Mega it doesn't seem like they have any plans to go away anytime soon. No, oh, no, the drift back to the ledge at 192. This Rage is terrifying. Yeah, absolutely. Like a duck hunt, not known for their full survivability, but you have that frame one can on the line. So anytime that Mega wants to engage, they have to be very careful. Ooh, what a oh. untackable. That was such a cheeky up air to place there, and very well played on the part of uh, on the part of Fawn. Not letting Mega run away with this weight and like gain some momentum just by nature of surviving for a good long time. And then you can just get your momentum rolling again with some of these combos and extensions off of Clay Pigeon and Can and everything in between. Mm -hmm. And Mega's doing a great job using that uh, those disjoints to actually get that Can out of his face. Very smart. Most players do struggle with that. Yeah, he's not relinquishing a lot of stage despite the percentage uh, falling well out of his favor. And he's not relinquishing his own game plan, which is like take space with a uh, grounded move, uh, with grounded movement, and then jump back with something like a nair or a forward air. Like these, again, these baseline tools, that's always going to be in Ike's favor because you have the range. Though maybe a bit of a commitment on that dash attack and getting aptly punished for it, Vaughn in. Uh, not only in a very good place right now, but she's also uh, kind of been on a tear recently overall. <laughs> oh, absolutely. If it's not with Duck Hunt, then it's any other character they have under their belt. Uh, absolutely. Like, she has, I mean, I think earlier this bracket she was playing Donkey Kong just because. Yep. Like, you know. That was on the receiving <laughs> end of that. <laughs> I, I did better than I expected, I'll say that. And, uh, I, you know, I think Mega playing against a top player, definitely thinking to themselves, all right, you know what? I may be down, but I'm not out. Far from it, but you got to watch out for these combos. The can setup was there. Oh, Ooh, the duck just did not very connect. Lucky. Unfortunate for Fawn, but very lucky for Mega, yet Fawn has seen this time and time again, playing around the inconsistencies of her character in order to make herself consistent, as well as any other characters that she may be operating that Nair into the platform tech chase, but the can is there to save Fawn's oh, bacon. Oh, Here we go. Back on the platform. I mean, here we are again, right? Like, you know, you are just watching Mega take hits, take shots, but always managing to find their way back to center stage to be, at the very least, a little Ooh. bit scary. Bouncing back and forth, that dash attack's not gonna nice do it. Nice shield poke. Yeah, you need one of these tipper duck, uh, like, one of these uh, tipper like F tilt, or maybe like an up air to close out the stock here. But Mega, just money's on an up B. Ooh, 199. I think was the highest they've lived to. That's, oh, that's he let where, go of shield. <laughs> that's where it'll end. Not <laughs> scared. Just rather rinse and repeat. That's something what trap characters do extremely well. Uh, just by, hey, I'm going to hold my ground, I'm going to play stage, I'm going to play to my strengths, and regardless of whether or not that percentage go reaches 70 or 270, if my game plan doesn't change. And Fawn, having that wherewithal of percent not necessarily mattering, really, really showed that dominance in the game. She wasn't rushing. Which is good. <laughs> Absolutely. And now here we are, round two. Yeah, heading right back to Battlefield. Uh, naturally, a strong stage for Mega. And I feel like you saw the benefits of Battlefield in game one. 
platform uh, avail availability is really important for Ike. Right, and that up B, just to be able to, you know, pull that out and be safe. For sure. Like, you're able to play around ledges really well. You're able to play with the blast zones extremely well and have, like, a, a set amount of risks that you can take. But it's just a matter of like not letting Fawn get out to an early lead and get comfortable, which is where Mega has uh, has found themselves in this game right now, like able to pick their spots a little bit stronger and trying to chase down with the back air there. But Fawn not having it and getting a solid punish of their own. No, just chasing up in the air. Oh, the can catching them in. Ooh, unfortunately, just barely missing it. Yeah, tragic. Mega not very happy with that. You can see it on the camera, shaking his head. Looking for Cam to dash back. Oh, it's those clay pigeons that get so much mileage, and he found one again. And clay pigeon double up air, just such a solid combo for so much damage. It's just a matter of like the starter is kind of slow, but if you're able to make Mega either like choose exclusively jump ins or play at this much more steady pace, that's where you're able to find many more of Duck Hunt's openers, including the sprinklings of grab. Vaughn just like one step ahead right now. Ooh, really, quite literally. Ooh. Like, All right. <laughs> you thought you were safe, but no, the up air coming in. Okay. All right. Too patient there. The patient's okay. helping him out in game one, but unfortunately, like, with the can blowing up in Vaughn's face, but nope, not helping here. Oh, but that dash attack will bring it to 2-1. Yeah, it's something that Mega's really committed to. Of like, I need to find dash attacks here. I need to find ways. I need to find zone breakers on a character that, while in the air, oh, <gasps> you're, oh, oh, wow, what a jump away. A, being able to angle that, like, do the, the quote unquote bad option where you immediately buff her jump by, by holding back and then going for the Aether, Mega was able to escape just such a dangerous situation. And with, at the very least, a chance at, that, at this game, but Fawn is looking to batter down the hatches and lock the door behind her. Uh oh, a couple up airs coming in here. Okay. All right. <laughs> Unfortunately, not really. Oh no! What saved him so many times was his undoing in the end. Yeah, that's kind of just—it's hard, right? Because writing's on the wall. You see Mega like just forced into awkward situation after awkward situation, time and time again. Right. Like, seeing... like exactly right there. Right. On the first stock. Oh, actually, it was the clay pigeon that got him. Interesting. Yeah, the layers, man. They're like that's what is. That's what's so good <laughs> about. Like you see it more with more common trap char trapping characters, uh, Snake, mm. uh, Pac-Man. Like these characters that just have a lot of uh, tools to consume stage, and thus by playing by playing Minesweeper, you can so sort of subtly shut down your opponent. Duck Hunt just does it in a much like he functions on a different axis than a lot of those other characters because. You're not always trying to consume stage in specific grouped ways. It's much more elaborate and it's much more chaotic because of it. Right. And somehow, sorry, unfortunately for Mega, just couldn't catch on as quickly as they wanted to. Exactly. I mean, he didn't really have any other options besides so just try and side be back on stage. Yeah, really. Poor guy. Did.